Okay, I never did make a video when I first got here of the yard. Um, it's still a wreck, but it's a lot better than it was. So you can just imagine. I've got a bunch of boxes of random items on the porch and um, things that have been cleaned up. There's a huge brush pile down there. Those are trees that I've cut out of the front yard. Got a huge pile of leaves here. Today we uh, cut a bunch of branches out of the willow tree so it looks a lot better. And the other willow tree's been cleaned up. This tree's been trimmed quite a bit. It used to be clear down here to the ground, so you couldn't even walk between between the house and the tree. Um, along the fence, I ran the trimmer today, so it's it's a little better. And along the sidewalk, there's enough. I could probably have somebody come over here and bale this. It's There's enough brush in here to bale it. You couldn't even see the ground at all to begin with. And there were a pile of limbs here that kept you from even walking out here. Um, you could hardly even see the fence, it was so bad. Now we have a large, <laughs> my daughter's dog's been digging a little bit in the yard. Now we have a large pile of brush over here. And this has all been cut out of the front yard. So you can just imagine what it was like um, you couldn't even drive down the driveway. I've trimmed around the apple trees and trimmed them a little bit. A um, lot of weed material left around. That'll just have to gradually be cleaned up. Um, if I would have showed the video to begin with, you would have seen my dead refrigerator and my old couch. I had them thrown out here in the front yard, along with an old coffee table. Those have been hauled away. Um, oh, that bird scared me. There was a dove in the yard, in the tree. It just flew out and frightened me. Up there beside the driveway, let me see if I can zoom in. You can see that brush pile there along the edge of the driveway. That's another pile of brush that has been cut out of the front yard. You can see a few stumps right up there underneath the swing set by the fence. I've got to get the rest of the stump. There's a couple of other areas where there's stumps you can kind of you can kind of see. I've got to get the remainder of the stump gone. A couple of trees right here that have started growing in the yard and those are locusts like this locust. I might let one of them survive. They actually make good shade and they're sturdy trees. Um that fence right there was so covered with the vine that's growing down it that it wouldn't open. And I've got a piece of wire over there. I'm going to arch it across that gate. I've got to fix that gate a little bit better so that it will close better and open better. And then I'll arch it so that the vine can grow over it and make a little bit of an archway. I'm going to trim some of these lower hanging branches a little bit better. Got a lot of debris that I have to clean up over here, and some of it has been cleaned up. Um, there's probably been two truckloads of stuff that was just randomly piled over here. It's been hauled away, and my shed over there, I went and cleaned it out and hauled two truckloads of stuff away. Because when I got burglarized, well, they made a mess out of everything. And so things got just thrown away. And I forgot to take my garbage can to the road again. I'm just not used to the schedule. So things are looking better. It's so much work that I tend to forget. I've got my freezer. It's sitting out over there on the other side of the house. You can't see it from here, but it's been cold the last couple of days. And it was plugged in. And I let it freeze because it, sm it smelled bad. It had a small amount of food left in it. And it smelled bad. And I let it go ahead and freeze so it wouldn't smell so bad. 
and now I'm trying to thaw it out so I can clean it out, which is absolutely dreadful. And when I clean it out, then I think it'll be fine. Everybody says, oh, I'd just throw it away, but it's an expensive freezer. And you know what? I just believe you fix things. You don't just throw them away. So this gives you a little idea of what the yard is like. And here, I'll let you see this pile of miscellaneous crap. It's just sometimes a little bit overwhelming, but I just have to pull up my big girl pants and, and go for it. And it's, it's, it's getting better and better. And by the time summer comes, hopefully I'll have a garden and it'll be right down there again, down there where you can see the large blue tires. There were sucker trees down there. Those have also been removed. Hopefully this will be a, a completely different video the next time, the next time I show it to you. You can't see the improvement if you don't see how bad it is to start with. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Hey, stay safe from this horrible virus. Stay busy. It's the best way to combat all this stuff. Thanks.